My name is Lucas Duddleston. I am one of the graduate students here at the Polymer Engineering Center at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We are a large research group that is looking at pushing plastics engineering forward into the 21st century. We're currently here in our research and teaching lab, which we use to do world-class research, as well as teach the next generation of engineers in the field of polymer engineering, specifically manufacturing plastic products. In addition to research, we are also very involved in the education of undergraduate students. In particular, every mechanical engineer must come through our lab and learn about plastics processing and the manufacture of plastics for industry. For example, we use the Formec 508 right here to teach our undergraduates about thermoforming and the industrial applications of thermoforming. The reason we purchased this machine is that we used to have to teach our undergraduates using a old thermoformer that was based on 1970s technology and was horrible for teaching modern plastics processing. In addition, it was dangerous, bulky, and not user friendly. Therefore, when I saw a YouTube video of Formec thermoforming some parts at a trade show, I instantly knew we needed a machine like that primarily because I knew the students could operate the machine by themselves uh, without any assistance and could truly learn the process hands-on, which is one of our greatest goals. So one thing we do during our teaching laboratories is thermoforming unique parts. So one thing we did is we 3D printed a Wisconsin W to show the students that you can more or less thermoform any part and also you can use additive manufacturing or 3D printing for rapid tooling. So I'm going to place our mold into the machine and now I'm going to place a sheet of polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PAT, into our machine. And now I will heat up the, the plastic and this will decrease the viscosity of the plastic which will allow the plastic to flow over the mold and form out. For this material, it requires about 18 to 19 seconds to bring the material up to temperature. Therefore, I'll bring up the mold, apply the vacuum, and you can see the plastic was sucked down by the vacuum around the mold, and we'll have our motion W. I will now eject the plastic, pull out the mold, and we have our thermoform part.